Yeah. Coach Leach, what have you seen from uh, Utah's defensive line thoroughly on, on uh, film now? Well, they're big and physical like they always are. They're almost carbon copy uh, every year. You know, they're big, strong, physical guys. Uh, you know, thick up front, tall D in, so. There's, right now, uh, UCLA, UCLA, I know it's not the same sport, but UCLA basketball's got three students that are, that are been accused of stealing. But what's your opinion on, on coaches that, that may keep uh, athletes that have been involved in theft on the team? Yeah, they have to decide. They, they have to, you know, they have to coach their own team. You know, we don't do it here, but uh, we don't keep them here, but they have to decide all that. I know the personnel is different, but how similar is Utah's offense to, to the Eastern Washington offense you guys saw last year with the same OC? A little different. They got a running quarterback. You know, they run him a little bit and get him out there on the edge. Kind of a different distribution of plays. They do uh, some empty stuff. They like empty, and they like to empty at Eastern Washington, too. Darren Carrington's been kind of a prominent receiver in the Pac 12 for quite a while now. Have you always kind of admired him as a, as a playmaker? As kind of yeah, we played against him a couple times. You know, he's tall and fast. You know, kind of a rangy, fast guy, and uh, you know, he's he's real talented. Mike uh, Renard Bell seems to have a knack for getting open when sometimes that maybe the other guys are struggling to do that. What does he What does he do to make that happen? <clears throat> One thing he does, he's always got a fantastic attitude. He never. Uh, Let's the any previous play bother him. You know he he, he always starts fresh each uh, each play. You know each next play, so he never gets in the tank. And I think his attitude really lets him improve a lot, and it lets him improve rapidly because uh, you know he constantly goes out there with a, uh, just a fantastic attitude. And so then you know you're focused, you're not cluttered, and it allows you to improve your skills quicker. And so I think that's all part of it. And I think it gives him a consistency too, especially for a guy his age. How do you how do you compare his personality with Jameer's? I think they're really pretty similar, and they went to the same school. I think they're I think they're really similar. Um, uh, you know, real similar. It's just he's got a year head start. You know. Do you feel like Bernard's been kind of the spark plug for you guys offensively this year? Times you guys don't. Yeah, I think he's been real consistent. You know, he's been a very consistent guy, and uh, he keeps getting better. Would you have take him to be the one to break out out of all the freshman receivers, receivers you guys have? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, really, it started this time of year last year, especially in bowl prep. He really tore it up in bowl prep, I thought. Bernard Bell and Jameer, both from California. Uh, Tavares Martin, Isaiah Johnson, Mack from Florida. They say they got a little bit of a competition between which state produces the best talent. According to you, what do you think is more, more rich in talent, California or Florida? Uh, they're both loaded up. They're both loaded. Of course, more people in uh, more people in California. Uh, Florida is like a really aggressive football state. You know, they get spring, all classifications, that type of thing. Uh, they're both really good. They're both really good. Of course, uh, Tay Martin feels like Louisiana is the best. So. You said you, you didn't know Kyle Whittingham when you guys were, were both at BYU. Did, did you know him before you started coaching the Pac-12? Yeah, I did. Um, just through you know coaching and whatnot, got to you know ran into him and stuff. I can't exactly remember when the first time was, but uh, yeah. So I've known him for a long time. You said you guys are closer than, than maybe you, you and some of the other coaches in the Pac-12, or is it, is it comparable? Uh, yeah, I'd say I know him better than most guys. You know, he's been in the Pac-12 longer, and then I plus I knew him beforehand, and some of these guys I didn't. And then, of course, uh, you know, we've got uh, some things in common just as far as uh, people and places we know, so.